On the 21st of August 2019, President Muhammad Buhari and the APC, Atiku Abubakar and the PDP and INEC will be approaching the five-man presidential election tribunal for the adoption of their final addresses. After the adoption of the addresses, the next crucial step will be the delivery of what most Nigerians expect to be the most iconic judgment in Nigeria's electoral history. Here is a look at Tim Buhari and INEC's key argument. Buhari has described Team Atiku's petition as a wild good chase lacking merit. They argue that PDP erroneously allowed Atiku Abubakar, a candidate who is not a Nigerian, by birth to contest the presidency in violation of the constitution which requires that a presidential candidate must be a Nigerian citizen by birth. The INEX server issue, Buhari's argument. Regarding Team Atiku's claim that INEC transmitted election results through an electronic server, Team Buhari says that Atiku's team has failed woefully to establish by credible evidence the existence of the imaginary server belonging to INEC. Team Buhari also argues that the 2019 general election was conducted with the Electoral Act of 2010, which prohibits electronic transmission of results. They also argue that the only lawfully recognized results are those transmitted through forms EC8, and only through those approved forms can election results be challenged. It can however be recalled that Simatiku countered this point by stating that the Electoral Amendment Act 2015 amended the 2010 Act and scrapped out this provision. Team Buhari also stated that prior to the elections, INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu stated that electronic transmission of results to the server would not be possible in the 2019 elections due to lack of internet connectivity in most parts of the nation. Timatiku, however, presented five witnesses who were presiding officers of INEC who told the court that they electronically transmitted 2019 election results to the INEC server. The credibility of Atiku's IT expert witness, Buhari's argument. Team Buhari also questioned the credibility and expertise of Team Atiku's Kenyan IT expert witness, David Joga, who testified to the existence of an INEX server before the tribunal. They also challenged the authenticity and admissibility of the election results originating from factsdon'tlieng.com and other evidence presented by the IT expert. Buhari's educational qualification, Buhari's argument. Tim Buhari states that there is no iota of evidence to prove that President Buhari was unqualified to contest the 2019 election and following the legal maxim of he who asserts must prove, it is solely the job of Tim Atiku to prove Buhari's lack of qualification. They also claim to have provided exhibits to the courts which prove that Buhari attained the level of education needed to contest the president. Specifically, Tim Buhari claims to have tendered a statement of results signed by the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cambridge, United Kingdom attesting to the fact that Buhari sat for the WIAC examination in 1961. Tim Buhari also argues that Buba Galadima, a witness of Timatiku, confirmed to the court that he believed Buhari to be qualified to contest the election and Buhari used to address the nation in English language as a military head of state, which is also proof of his qualification. The crux of Tim Buhari's final address is that Timatiku made the accusations and is expected to prove its case. Tim Buhari has urged the tribunal to dismiss Tim Atiku's petition on the grounds of both technicalities and evidential failure. INEC's key arguments. INEC argues that Atiku did not win the 2019 election and stands by its earlier claim that Buhari scored majority of lawful vote. INEC also argues that Tim Atiku's argument that Buhari was unlawfully awarded votes was criminal in nature but was not backed by sufficient proof. Atiku's 62 witnesses. INEC claimed that of Team Atiku's 62 witnesses, only 10 were directly involved in the presidential electoral process, while the rest were ward, local government, or state coalition agents who were unqualified to prove non compliance with the Electoral Act beyond reasonable doubt. The INEC server issue, INEC's argument. On the issue of INEC server, INEC urged the tribunal to disregard the testimony of Tim Atiku's witnesses. 
they argue that Tim Atiku's claim to have won the 2019 elections was based on data from a strange website which is merely designed to send the tribunal on a voyage of speculation and discovery without supporting their case with relevant evidence. Arnek also argues that the website which was created 21 days after the declaration of the election result was possibly created by Tim Atiku who realized that they had lost the presidential election and dishonestly created evidence to the contrary. Buhari's educational qualification are next argument. INEC has classified the issue of Buhari's qualification as a pre-election matter, which should have been brought before the court by Timatiku not more than 14 days after receiving a copy of Buhari's form prior to the election. Since Timatiku failed to bring up the issue of false information when it was first discovered, INEC argues that it had become status barred and no longer an issue. INEC argues that its results are presumed regular and accurate until Timatiku can rebut this presumption with credible evidence. With TV Nigeria.